What's up guys, this is Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building a British train. I don't think we've done a tutorial on a British train in like over a year. The last one was Flying Scotsman, but today we're going to be building the LNER225, and this is in the brand new livery. This tutorial consists of the British Rail Class 91, as well as some Mark IV carriages and a driving trailer van. Before I review this train, I would like to give a shout out to My Name's Lean for commissioning this build and making this video possible. If you guys do want to support more British train tutorials, consider doing a commission that's the only way to keep these tutorial videos going so the LNER intercity 225 uses this British rail class 91 locomotive and these are all built in 1.8 to 1 scale the standard British scale that I use um, for my British trains and yeah let's go take a look at the locomotive we have some buffers in the front some MU cables down here we have the nose it's a bit of a triangular shape right here got the windshield wiper snow on top and here's what it looks like on the side of the truck. This says LNER, some vents. We also got some roof detail on top, including a pantograph because this is an electric locomotive. And here's what it looks like all around. And this locomotive actually has a cab on both ends, surprisingly. So this is a cab in the back, although it looks kind of weird. And here's what it looks like on the other side. Um, the bottom part is also the cage, so it's a bit transparent inside here. You can see through it. And yeah, that's the class 91. Now for the coaches, they're going to be using the British Rail Mark IV coaches. So I actually have a couple variants over here. So this is the first one. It's different from the other ones because it has these buffers and they're just to connect with the locomotive right behind it. So it looks like that. There's not really a gangway right here. And on the side, we got this red part here. We got some yellow stripe underneath the doorway, some windows on the sides. And then here's what it looks like on the other side. Turn on my night vision so you guys can see. And it also has that little bit of roof detail, that one pressure plate. Then the other car, it's pretty much the same thing. All it does is add in the gangway over here. That's about it. And then for the next car, this is gonna be the cafe car. So this is a bit different. Um, it doesn't have like this red on this side at least. And it has these three long windows on this side, as well as some more roof detail like that. And the other side, this time, we have one long window right here instead of three of them. And also the doorway here is going to be different as well. So as you see right here, this one has like a gray door while this one is sort of like embedded into it. And for the last car, this is going to be the DVT or driving van trailer. And this looks a lot like the locomotive in the front, but I think they just use the same body as the coach. Just switch it up the end and uh, here's what it looks like. So if you're making this train, you're going to have to uh, build all of this. So if you combine all of these together, all five pieces, it's going to look like this. It's a fairly substantial train, although it's not exactly prototypical because the actual train is much longer than this. So I actually built the train over here, um, the full length. So in the front, you know, we got the class 91 followed by six regular coaches. It takes a while to get there. And then we have this cafe car here. And then we have three of these first class coaches. You can tell because this part is going to be white while the other cars are going to be red like that. So after that, there's going to be the DVT at the very end. And that would be the entire train set. And thanks again to Names Lean for commissioning this build, making this video possible. I really do want to build more British trains, but I don't really have the support to build it. But yeah, let's get started on the tutorial. So um, if you guys were wondering the dimensions for whatever reason, the Class 91 locomotive, it's going to be 36 blocks long. And that excludes these chapped doors on the end. We don't really count that. But everything else is going to be um, 36 blocks. And then for the Mark IV coaches, it's going to be 39 blocks, excluding the gangway and the couplers, all that. We don't include that. And the DVT is going to be 34 blocks from right here all the way up to the fence gate right there. So first, we're going to be building the Class 91. So you're going to get started right over here on top of the tracks. Uh, you're just going to build this, you know, five blocks wide and the gap here and then slab and some polished blocks and brick uh, blocks in this gap of three here. And just build in the back of this uh, gap over here and then the middle part wall and then three um, black concretes wall space here and then you know just build the other side like this so that's going to be the first layer and then for our next step we're just going to add in the buffers so you know fence gates here as well as some cables so more fence gates like that also add in fence behind it and wall like that 
For the middle part, we'll make this uh, wider, add in the fences there. And the other side, here's what it looks like. And also there's like glass panes in the back of this. All right, so after that, uh, let's go back here. Uh, you're gonna add in some more of these um, fence gates. So acacia fence gate here, and then some more dark oak, as well as a trap door and slabs underneath here. And then some more fence gates, as well as this part over here. Fence gates underneath the fences. And here's so what it looks like on the other side. And then for our next layer, it looks like we're pretty much just gonna add in the middle part over here. So, you know, black concrete slabs underneath, then our nether brick fences like that. And then on the other side, here's what it looks like. Um, it's a little bit different because uh, this part over here is a slab with a wall inside, while the other side is a fence with a wall inside. That's going to be the only real difference, I think. All right, so after that, we're pretty much going to make the middle part wider. We'll also add in the wheels right here. So, you know, a gray concrete and then upside down, this is polished black sand stairs and then three slabs like that. So the other side and then the middle part over here. I don't know. I think it's the same thing. Pretty much just adding a bulk to this segment here. And just in case you want to see the other side, here's what that looks like. All right, so after that, we're going to add in the outer edge. So, you know, fence gate here, then hopper, fence gate, slabs in between, wall here, black glass panes, then slabs here, and then uh, dark oak fence gate on the outer part. And the other side, it's pretty much the same thing like that. Um, then we're going to do over here in the back part, pretty much the same thing, just the uh, other way around. So the fence gates in the back. And here's what it looks like on um, this side. All right, so after we're done with that, let's go back here. Get to work on the middle part. So it's gonna add in this bamboo slabs like that, three blocks wide. Polished black stone brick blocks here, and that fence, uh, dark oak fence gate, walls like that. And you know, just build it up right here. Got rid of that gray concrete, that's not supposed to be there. Uh, but yeah, we're just building up like this. And here's what it looks like in the back part, also like that. Um, yeah. Alrighty, so for the next layer, uh, we're just adding it to the sides. So just add in the upside down stairs here, and then uh, two of these smooth quartz blocks, stairs upside down, two of them. And then some smooth quartz slabs like this, lines up like that. And then these two are upside down, facing each other, and then don't forget the oak sign like that. And the inside, we're just adding some quartz, so it goes above the, I don't even know what you can call this. It's not exactly a fuel tank, is it? Because this is an electric locomotive, and then some stairs here. We change this up to anisite there. Uh, two anisites in the back, the stairs facing inwards, and then facing towards the back, sign there. And here's what it looks like. Um, yeah. So after that layer, we're gonna work on the next layer, just adding some more things on top. So we're gonna add in cobble deep slate slab, then polished deep slate slab in here in the middle, yellow concrete behind it, three blocks wide. And then um, on the side, we just build in like this. And then red concrete on the inside for the stripe. So these are two smooth quartz block and then smooth quartz slabs. All the way up to the back part lines up with this. And we'll also add in um, iron bars. This is actually optional because if you build it regularly, it's not gonna really connect. So if it doesn't look good, don't add it. And here's what it looks like in the back part and then the other side. All right, so after that, you're gonna build in some more with the bamboo stairs like this. And we're gonna corner smooth quartz stairs on sides and just add in more to it upside down, uh, diorite uh, stairs here, nether bricks on the inside of that. All the other side's gonna be smooth uh, quartz stairs. And that's because there's like a vent on the side that's kind of small. And then we'll add in some more on inside and then smooth quartz over here. And you know, just build it exactly how I built it. And for this measurement here, that's gonna be six blocks between that and then some slabs here, polished black stone brick blocks and slabs inside. And here's what it looks like in the other side. And I think this middle part, it doesn't really matter. You don't, you don't have to build it. And then we're gonna go across over here and then LNER again. And yeah, that's pretty much it for that layer. So next layer, we're gonna start with the windshield. So it looks like this. 
then wall over here, black concrete's inside, and then start to build this diagonal thing here. Polish blackstone brick um, on the inside of it. Here's what it looks like. Let me turn on my night vision so you guys can see easier. I uh, might just leave this on the whole entire video. And you can see these things line up like that with the bottom levels. If you already built it like that, it kind of lines up. And then here's what it looks like in the back part and then on this side. All right, so after that, we're gonna build on the roof area. Now there's gonna be some snow involved. So uh, there's gonna be smooth quartz slabs, three blocks wide in the middle. And in the corner here, it's gonna be three layers of snow like that. So one, two, three. And then the other layer is gonna be six layers and this one's smooth quartz slab in the middle. And uh, this part is actually going to be uh, six blocks long right here and then added to the side. And then we'll add in our polished or deep slate brick slabs across like that. And then we'll add in deep slate uh, brick slabs and this is gonna go all the way up into the back part stairs like that and then gray concrete is going to be four blocks long here and there's going to be all sorts of things inside here so you could just uh, pause the video and just build it whatever based on what it looks like and this gray concrete in the front is going to be 10 blocks long all right so after you have built all of that um you can add in that polished black stone brick block on this side all right, so after that, uh, we're pretty much just going to add in the roof detail, some more like this, so it looks like this, some buttons on the roof, as well as, as you know, daylight detector and all these trap doors, fence gate, button in the back. And then we're just going to build up on the pan graph, so it looks like this. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the class 91s. All right, so let's get started here on the coaches. So I have the three main designs, you know, the regular one here. And then this is going to be the one that connects to the locomotive. So that's going to be first one. And then we'll also have the cafe car. So um, all these, they share a similar base. And I'll be showing you where uh, when I build the base, when we're going to split off in the tutorial. But yeah, let's get started here on the base model. So first off, it's going to be that dark oak slab. Then you know, black concrete, upside down stairs here. And this polished black stone brick. It's going to be six blocks long. Add in the fence gates underneath stairs here and then black concrete it's going to go uh, 19 blocks long and then stairs and uh, slabs underneath that and then build the back it's sort of similar to the front so this is going to be six blocks long and build in the rest like that all right so after that you're going to build up this front layer up so it's going to be a two by five like this and in stairs going to cross it as well as slabs all the way across then I'm going to start to build in the wheel design looks like this with uh, two slabs in between here gray concretes and then just uh, make the middle part you know three blocks wide like that and here's what it looks like on the other side and there's also going to be this acacia fence gate here dark oak fence gates on the sides like this and let's go back over on this side and then for the next layer we're just going to add in you know button side and this um, truck detail looks like this hoppers, daylight detector stairs, and then this bamboo button, and then some more buttons here. So it's like, so basically extend this upside down stairs, right side upstairs, and then we'll skip three blocks here, and then add in the stone button. They can add in the rest. Here's the truck on the other side, some more buttons like that, and then more buttons here, and then the stairs, and then two concrete, and then stone button. Then the other side is going to be um, button here. Block gap here, and then two block gap here for the other button. That's And don't forget this button here on the edge. But then next up, we'll be building on top of it. So we have this layer here. Don't forget this button here. And, you know, we have the gray concrete on the edges like this. And then white glass panes over here. Button right there. And another button over here. Alrighty. So after you have built it exactly like that, um, this is kind of where we're splitting off the tutorial. If you want to make the cafe car, this is where you split off the tutorial. But if you want to make the other cars, stick around. All right, so next up, we're going to be building, you know, this red concrete layer here like this. So we got that stripe. And to make it these banners here, it's actually going to be a gray banner with yellow dye border. And then put it back inside. And then gray dye, you actually want a diagonal 
from the top part, so put that back in and a diagonal going the opposite way so that we have like this nice thin line. And you're pretty much going to add this to the side. This is going to be where the doorways are. Then uh, we'll add in this red stripe going all the way across. Not the doorway in here in the back. What this looks like over here. It's actually uh, pretty simple for this level. All right, so for the next layer, you know, just add in some more blocks on top. Wall here, you know, two blocks of gap here. Um, and then, you know, we'll add in the window. So it's going to be our black stained glass block. So three, three, two, three, three, two, three, and then one, one like that. While the other side is going to be a little bit different, it's going to be indented window here for the wall. And then the other windows are going to be the same pattern as the other side. Then for our next layer, we're going to cover up the top of it like this. By only finishing the doorway, then a white stripe across. And here's what it looks like on the other side. All right, so for the next layer, just add in the roof. It's actually pretty simple. And we're also going to add in the gray banners here on the edges like that. You know, just build that all the way across like that. All righty, so after we're done with that, this is also where we split off the tutorial, whether you want to make the regular one or the first car on the very edge next to the locomotive. So to make the one next to the locomotive, it should be looking like this. So, so just delete the coupling here in the middle, and we'll also add in these dark oak uh, trap doors all the way across. So it's like a three by four like that. Add in the buffers like that. That's And we'll also go on the roof part and we'll add in this uh, polished black stone uh, pressure plate. It's gonna line up right on this window. See that button there. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the first car. Now for the intermediate car, the regular one, we're just adding in a simple gangway. So it looks like this, you know, polished black stone brick walls, four blocks tall and the slabs cross top and the bottom. And then the other side, we'll also add in the gangway like this. Pretty much the same design. So that's pretty much it for the regular car. Now let's move on to the cafe car. So if you remember when we split off the tutorial, the main difference between that one and that one is that this one doesn't have a gray door in the back. It sort of blends in. So uh, we're pretty much going to just fill in this part with andesite. And here's what it looks like all around just in case you missed it. All right, so after you built that, we're just going to add in the uh, gray door here. And adding in this banners, which I showed you earlier in the video, just add the red stripe all the way across to the back. You don't really need to have in the middle part, like this is totally unnecessary. <laughs> you don't need it. All right, and then after that, we're gonna add in this layer here, could be the windows. So it's like an indent here. And uh, yeah, you could just copy it block for block. Then this segment here is gonna be 10 blocks long of nether brick blocks, and then three slabs over here, and then you know, five nether brick blocks and build the other half. It looks like you got the indented window here as well. And you know, it's gonna be three slabs here and then two and then three slabs here. And then three and then the rest of the windows. Look, they look like they line up and then two extra windows like that. All right, so after that, we're gonna add in some more. So it looks like this. It'll be our next layer. This layer is really easy. Just a white line inside like that. Um, yeah, so for the next layer, just add in the roof as well as these banners here on the edges. And that is pretty much it for this level. But then after that, we'll just add in the gangway here as well as some roof detailing. So it's going to line up with this right here, trap doors, the pressure plate. This button is like right after this window here. And then the other side, the gangway right here. And, and also the bottom detailing. I Kind of forgot to mention that, but this is also different. It looks like this, so just build these buttons like that. Lines up. And here's what it looks like on the other side. This part over here is like a slab. And so buttons over here is gap three. Alright, but yeah, that should be pretty much it for that cafe car. I'm losing my breath right now. Now let's move on to the DVT that's going to be facing the other direction. So here's the first layer, just build it like this. You know, there's six um, bricks here, like that slabs. And this middle section is going to be 13 blocks long, slabs underneath. And build back just like that. And then we're going to add it. So this part's, you know, five blocks wide, three blocks wide, and then slabs underneath, buttons on the sides. 
and these fence gates like this. Then after that, make the middle part three blocks wide and also build up the wheels like this. And here's what it looks like onto the other side. Got the buffers as well. All right, then next up, we'll add in this layer here. And um, <clears throat> there's like some signs over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's also a lot of buttons on this side. Then after that, I guess we're just building up the trucks. So here's what it looks like. Pretty simple design that we used on the other coaches. Okay. So, all right, so for the next layer, it looks like this. This is going to be an andesite stairs above this daylight detector, smooth quartz on the inside for a 3D effect. So it looks like in the front, we're just adding in polished blocks and brick blocks above this whole area here. Upside down stairs. Now, um, because you're building it in regular Minecraft, you could just add it like this so it's not debugged. But if you add a debugged, it looks a lot better. Don't forget that dark oak sign in the front. Here's what it looks like all around. The next layer, we're just building up even more. This thing lines up like that. And then the other side. We're so close to being done. And then this layer here, here's what it looks like. Uh, it's maybe a little more complicated, so I'll walk you through it. So it's like four here, slab here, then block, and upside down slab and then polish blackstone brick block on the inside of this and two blocks here slab here polish diorite block inside and you don't really need a lot of these layers here so i'll delete them and then there will be um this three blocks long here another brick blocks and then uh, another brick stairs gonna be like two of them facing the front block here facing the back and then smooth quartz block on the inside part and then add a block here slab buttons and this part here is going to be uh, five blocks long and then stairs and then upside down stairs here. Now the brick block on the inside and then polished blocks and brick slab inside there. You don't really need the other layers. Then here's what it looks like in the front part. Wrap it all the way around. And I'll show you like every single angle. And this part here. I guess it just lines up with the other side. Not too big of a deal. And also on the edge, we're out of gray banners and the uh, gangway here. Although you might already have it if you have the other cars. Other than the polished black and brick slab here, and then black concrete lines up at the bottom. And here's what it looks like. This part over here, it's eight blocks long, and then just lines up the other side and there's like a polished black stone brick block inside there. And just build in black concretes and the windshield. And again, you don't really need these middle parts, so I can just delete them. We don't need that. All right. So after that, you just build in the roof layer. Pretty simple. Uh, just lines up where this polished black stone is. Goes up and it's going to be an andesite wall inside here. And then our snow layers is going to be six layers here. And then this part is three layers tall. And it's pretty much the exact same thing as the front part. We just moved it here and then it has the bump there. And here's what it looks like all around, just in case you need to uh, see it. And then later we'll add in the roof detail. It looks like this, just a bunch of buttons. Gap of three here, gap of two here, gap of four over here. A trap door and button trap door. I mean, pressure plate like that. And uh, yeah, that should be pretty much it on how to build the LENR 225 in Minecraft. Thanks again to Names Layer for commissioning this build and making this video possible. As you can see, it's quite a lot to film the tutorial video, so I appreciate it if you hit that like button down below. And if you want to commission builds in the future, check out the link in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.